you find in the scientific literature. This does not come out of my thumb. This comes out of the scientific literature. Chronic fatigue. Many people speak to me about chronic fatigue. Take out the dairy, and the problem is very often solved. Tension headaches, musculoskeletal pain, hyperactivity, bed wetting, allergies and congestion. Many, many allergies can be taken straight back to uh, dairy. Asthma and respiratory difficulties. Well, for one, my wife was an asthma sufferer. She had to take an asthma pump. She could not go anywhere without an asthma pump. She was a constant asthma sufferer. It was a nightmare. And since she threw out the dairy, she didn't have to use the asthma pump. It took about six months in her, in her case. And she never needed an asthma pump again. In fact, once we had a knock on the door and an asthmatic was having a terrible asthma attack right then, it was tough. We had to rush him to the hospital. But she had her last asthma pump which, pump, which had been lying for months in her drawer, and she gave it to him, and that helped him to get to the hospital. So asthma, very definitely involved. Arterios early arteriosclerosis from oxidized cholesterol. Now, this is a very important point. Cholesterol itself is not so problematic. Oxidized cholesterol is problematic, and milk is in air and oxidizes very readily, and milk is one of the prime sources of oxidized cholesterol. And uh, you would want to avoid that as much as you can. Juvenile diabetes, we've dealt with in quite some detail. Acne, all the, the problems associated with trying to get rid of the products you cannot digest come out through the skin. Acne, rheumatoid arthritis is often associated with dairy consumption. And all the nerve disorders like neuralgic diseases, Gorex disease, multiple sclerosis, and IQ. There are numerous studies which show that children raised on dairy have a considerably lower IQ than children raised on mother's milk, for example. So with all this listing, why would you want to use dairy products? One reason, and one reason alone, remains. The fat is bad, the protein is indigestible or partly digestible and is bad for you. There's one reason and one reason alone why you would want to use dairy products. And what is that? Calcium. That's it. Calcium. So in our next session, we will deal with some of these issues.